Week 10, Problem 6. A tuning fork generates sound waves with a frequency of 250 hertz. The waves travel in opposite directions along a hallway, are reflected by the walls, and return. The hallway is 40 meters long, and the tuning fork is located 14 meters from one end. What is the phase difference between the reflected waves when they meet at the tuning fork? The speed of sound is 343 meters per second. Okay, we can totally do this. First though, I need my pen. Where did I put my pen? This is outrageous. How unprofessional. How unprofessional. Oh, there it is. All right. So, I'm gonna start by drawing a picture. Actually, I'm gonna use a box. There we go. Bam, this'll be the hallway. And you'll be like this. And make it black. Perfect. All right, so the tuning fork is 14 meters, so this guy is 40 meters long. Forty meters. Nope. There we go. Forty meters. Forty meters. And the tuning fork is at fourteen meters. So fourteen will probably be like right around here. Fourteen meters. So then that means this distance right here will be What's 14, 40 minus 14? 26? I'm gonna say 26 meters. Okay, so what's gonna happen then is uh, the wave is gonna travel like so. That's a terrible wave, but it's okay. It's gonna then bounce off the wall and come back and it's going to, the other wave is going to do the exact same thing. And then when they come he, come to the middle, they're going to um, interfere. So they're not going to be perfectly lined up, at least probably not. So what's going to happen then is none of these wavelengths are going to matter except for the last one. So what we want to do is we want to look at how many the remainder of the wavelengths. So we'll see you in a sec. So first thing we're going to need to do is find the wavelengths. So we know we have velocity equals distance over time because my car goes in miles per hour which is like wavelength times frequency um, this is meters this is one over seconds okay so wavelength equals velocity divided by frequency which equals 343 meters per second divided by 250 Hertz so this is meters per second this is per second yep so I'm gonna do 343 divided by 250 and that gives us some oddball number, 1.372. 1.372. Okay. So then we know that the first set of waves, I'm going to call this the distance. Hmm. I'm going to call this distance one. It's going to be 28 meters because the first set of waves that are traveling this direction are going to travel down and back. So we're going to do 28 meters divided by 1.372. 28 divided by 1.372. This gives us a number like, I don't know, 16? 20. 20.408. 20 equals 20.408. So what this is telling us is, so I'm going to say that wave number 20 ended right there. And if we go, this is to, um, each wave is 1.372. So 0.4 of that is like maybe a third. So when you get back to the tuning fork, this wave has gone basically that far. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing with the other one. So we're gonna do 26 meters divided by, what is it, 1.372? 1.372. Actually, I'm gonna use 52 meters. Cause I'm gonna do 
It probably doesn't matter, but it makes more sense intuitively this way. 37.9. Hmm. Equals 37.9 wavelengths. Okay. So we now need to find the phase angle, phase difference between the reflected waves when they meet at the tuning fork. Okay. And they want it in degrees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out. So we got one wave going this way, one wave going that way. Actually, why don't I just draw the wave the other direction? Nope. Yeah. There we go. Traveling this way. And this guy got through 0.9. Hmm. I think I did this part wrong. Right. So, I'm going to change. So, let's see here. This guy got through 0 0.408 of a wave when it got through and this guy over here got through 0.9 of a wave. I'm going to convert that into degrees. So 0 0.9 times 360 0 0.9 times 360 is 324 degrees. So it got through almost the entire wave. Because it's going, yep, going this way. So this is like 324 degrees. It's converting um, 2 pi to degrees. So 0 0.408, 0 0.408, that gives us 147. So this guy did just under half, 0.4, which is the same as 147 degrees. Okay? So these are the two phases, and we just need to find the difference between the two. So we're going to do 324 minus 147. So there will be 177 degrees out of phase. One hundred and forty seven equals one hundred and seventy seven degrees. So there might be some sort of convention on how to how they want it measured. Um, I don't know what the convention is. My guess is that they want a number that's between um, because you can look at it differently. You can either look at it as because you're like, wow, how do you know to do 324 minus 147? Maybe it'd be different, maybe it'd be opposite, maybe it'd be 147 minus 324. Which should work, too. It'd be 147 minus 324. You'd get, what, 183? Well, maybe negative 177. But you can look at, um, hmm, interesting. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. They probably want an answer between 0 and 360. Maybe they want an answer between negative 180 and 180. I don't know. So this would be my guess on how, how they want you to do this one. So the idea here, to recap the big idea, because I kind of blundered through it, was... Mm, let's go red. So you have waves coming down here, waves coming back, and the waves aren't going to be at the same point of their cycle when they meet back up because the tuning fork was not exactly in the middle. And so you're going to have interference between the two waves. Um, and the interference can be the, um, they can, you can show you how far out of phase they are based on the last um, um, segment of the wave. So if for instance we had this, and instead of being 14 meters on this side, it was instead, um, let's say, 12.23, then
then it'd be exactly the same because what happened is you'd have I took off 1.372 from 14. So if this was a little bit closer, the wave wouldn't have to travel as far. And but the thing is, when it chopped off the number of cycles it did, it would chop it off in complete cycles. And I could even chop it off, you know, 1.372 divided by two, half of this. That way, I'd do half a half a cycle in, half a cycle out, which would be a full cycle. Um, and the idea here is all you want to look at is the remainder. So with this 20.48, the only part that's ported is the 0.48. And then with the 37.9 um, waves, it's the 0.9 that's going to contribute to the phase difference in interference. Okay? Um, yep. Yeah. That's the idea behind this problem. See you on number seven.